do on a hot day like this is our own job. Is that right? I know that's hard. Why is it February and how many days we go outside? Climate change. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Some of us in Russia. This is it. Is someone from the city coming back on the road? I don't know. Do I like to do like that?
you to fix this house since you're inside this place. So I'm just for someone to get to it. I don't want to wait for someone to get to it. Our children have needs that deserve to be met. And I'm going to fix this. Nothing's going to get in my way. We get the kind of little man. You see? Are you trying to fix your boyfriend? Because that's my focus. Right? <laughs> <laughs> he just texts her, he's the gas up the car, boy! Uh-uh. She always cool, could you see her for the world?
good news. Oh, great. I'm going to After school. <laughs> <laughs> 
He did not want you to do it. Yes, it's not trash. Yes, it is. 
you are so quick to throw things away. Always looking for work or asking for new, 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 new. But I'm going to get this thing working and show you that, like our students, you can't give up on something just because it's easy. This is a perfectly good, I can't find a brand name, but oh, I know what it's called. It's called a chair. <laughs> Don't put that up there. <laughs> I don't know why I said that. It's weird when you think about it. You don't think, when you open the door. <laughs> um, as you know, I'm the part of the projector for a little project. I've been doing, making a wish list video for my classmates. But, which, I don't know, most of the things, new to the books, what kind of the world is. Often, I go and teach a stuff there. You see how I make it better. I know that this feels like you're not going to see me. That looks good. It's pretty.
small town, and then right behind Tomato Stand takes off. She's going to be there. Not her. Try to buy one with all the old girl. Girl, Tomato Stand. Why are you worried about Barbara Howard Sanders? She's the most aggressively offline person I've ever met. She responds to my previous post with her ATM code. If you know what you want to see, everybody else. Yeah, I was just so confused already. This is crazy. I said, this is what I do. I feel like you went to the Texas Circle for another job and woke up like, why do I look that friend? Why does it say hashtag belief science, hashtag low type, hashtag believe in a woman, hashtag lock her up? You said you wanted eyes on me. And I got eyes on it. And Luke 1413. Ooh, what is that? It's a comment about fucking poor and sad and lame and crippled sitting by. Get me to edges. Now she got to move out. Because it was a bit over the top. Okay. Really, really over the top. Like 
we went to the top and we couldn't really find it because it was way up there. I'm sorry. I just wanted you to have all the tools you deserve and that your kids deserve. My kids don't have half the supplies they need most of the time that they need. Yeah, but I saw your kids hitting with empty water jars. It's our job. Our job is to build them up, make them confident. Is it nice to have stuff? Sure. But my students do not need to feel less than because they do not have stuff. So, talk about what they do have. What about what they don't?
What are you doing here? This isn't for sixth eighth grade teachers. I'm just here for the camaraderie and this tasty breakfast. <laughs> you guys, I'm going to put that on the light. On this, and our students are going to get a huge boost from this software. I mean, our kids are going to be reading at the speed of light. Well, I, for one, prefer the tried and true methods over whatever the latest doobie is. I mean, I have yet to see the program that can do what I do by, you know, what? teaching. Well, old school teaching is great. But the latest new hickey can be a helpful addition. Now, Jack has his place. Like when you haven't been with a man for a few years. Um, or sometimes he does. I thought a man would be showing Pixar movies. You guys, all I'm saying is we should keep an open mind. There was a great website called A to Z123 that taught me how to read when I was a kid. My parents certainly weren't around and knew it. <laughs> I had to potty train myself. <laughs> Overshare. Well, I do not need some young Zuckerberg. Zuckerberg. Pimple face kid, fresh from the smart bar. Genius bar. Telling me how to teach. Good morning. You're the tech teacher? Sure am. Can't keep us old folks down, right? All right. What I'm providing you with today will revolutionize <laughs> your classrooms. Not only helps you teach your students how to read, it delivers up to the minute data on their progress and will be analyzed at the end of each day. And the better the results, the more fun that we get. So this is good, y'all. Each of you will get one of these. New tablets. Okay, who do you go to bang to get into the analytics annex? It's really very easy. I put that Just use the highlight tool to pinpoint the pronunciation mistakes. Create a word cloud, output a ranks list, see the percentage of your students that missed that word, and that'll determine whether it becomes a TAI or targeted area for improvement. Easy peasy. Keep it breezy. Mm -hmm. Hey, how's it going, Barb? Oh. Mm -hmm. Easy peasy. <laughs> yeah. I am so excited that Barbara <laughs> is so confused because it means I get to help her with something. I need her help every day. So if I can return the favor just once, it means I'm no longer a newbie. I'm her peer. <laughs> Gregory, Broseph, Brotato. Yeah, I'm still, uh, still finding that. What's up, man? I'm just looking for some cream. Listen, you're the new guy I'm here. I am the second year vet. I figured I would, you know, show you a few things around here. No, I'm just uh, looking so, for you. So, you've got Miss Cooper over there. I've been here a year and a half. She's been pregnant the whole time. I don't ask questions. I'll even take out of pregnancy. Mrs. Robertson, watch out. She will talk your ear off. And, uh, oh, you know, Melissa, of course. She's a, you know, Southern Philly type. Excuse me. You talking about me? Yeah, uh, I was saying uh, you are a, um, a, a Southern Philly type. South Philly. Right, right. That's what I said. Right. Honestly, it's like, it's like the best part of our beautiful city. I love how you guys will just like park anywhere. Yeah, okay. No, I'm actually teaching a lesson right now about the unions in the city and how many of them started in South Philly. Oh, no way. I know some guys that were part of that. Yeah, I'm glad you're teaching that to the kids. Good job. Just like I said, she is a shady lady. That's why you and me are about to stick together, man. You know, like coffee and creamer. All right, Ian. Oh, teach the children to read with this. I can hardly read this. The light. Now, who took that picture of me? How's it going with the new programming? Oh, it's uh, a little hard to understand, but I'm getting the hang of it. Okay, yeah. Just wanted to check in in case this was tricky for you. you know, I grew up with this stuff, and it gets me sometimes. I somehow lost my crypto wallet. <laughs> but you come from a different generation, and so it will be totally understandable if you were having trouble with it. Are you kidding me? I miss tech, you know. I love tech. Shop at the App Store, got a hot mail. I once even wrote in a Tesla. I'm already ahead on the first couple of lessons. Wow. Well, that's great. Can I see? No. Oh. Janine, you're disturbing my students. <laughs> I'm, I'm whispering. It's just your overall presence. So if you wouldn't mind just excusing yourself, I'm a little behind on my hotmail correspondences. Barbara says she's doing well, but this program is really hard. She just has a ton of pride. So I'm going to wait for her to come and ask me for help. Oh, I can't wait. 
And that is how union and non-union workers came together and worked as one to help solve the labor crisis in South Philly. Okay? All right, we are going to have to grab a noun from the noun pool. I don't get this. Sweetheart, neither do I. Okay, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to continue teaching my students how to read like I have been for 30 years. I'll input whatever information I need to into that program, and then I'll just keep doing what I have been doing, and everybody else will just have to back off. Hey, Hill, that lesson? That was garbage. It's not what happened. Okay, well, I've read several books on the subject. I think I know the history of the lesson. Well, me and my family lived it, so I think we know the history. We also listened to several podcasts. Look. How about this? I know a guy who's actually a captain back in the day. How about I hook you up? You can come to the class and do like an eyewitness account for the kids. Unexpected, but I am so happy Melissa's bringing in the police captain. He's going to be able to talk to the kids about how this is done peacefully. I'm just really happy Vinny, the strike captain, is out of jail so we can do this. It's also going to count towards his community service. Just a hundred more hours and his record's clear. Good morning. Come on down. You ready for a good day? That's what I'm talking about. Morning, Abbott Elementarians. It turns out one of our teachers is just too good. According to our new reading program, Mrs. Howard's kindergartners are reading at a fourth grade level. No. Mrs. Howard, you are once again that girl. Huh? No. 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 Okay. That's me. No. Okay, that's me. No. This is, you say Howard, this is Howard. This is Howard. Barbara, I just wanted to say that I'm sorry. You clearly knew what you were doing, and I arrogantly assumed, or hoped, rather, that you would need my help. But once again, I need yours. You are officially Yoda with better edges. Okay, which one of you young Sheldons is going to get me to Mars with your little smart reading sales? There's actually no need for all of this. I'm just doing my job. But don't forget it was your girl that brought in that dope program. Oh my God, look at me not even taking credit for something I have so much to do with. <laughs> Herbert, you know what? Since so many of us need help, what if you put on like a little presentation for the rest of us? You think you're too small, Janine. We should have an assembly and have one of Barbara's students read to the whole school, show these little literate fools how to literate. Yes! Oh my God. Yes! Mm -hmm. We can have Khalil read. No, not Khalil. Everybody knows that little dork can read. I was thinking, hell. Five years old reading at the fourth grade level? You performed a damn miracle on that boy. That they should have known them numbers was wrong. <laughs> right? <laughs> it's fantastic voice. Okay, let me set up for the uh, students. We are about to hear from a heroic, upstanding citizen of this city, okay, who helped to peacefully end. Kids, meet Vinny Romano. Call me the tire iron. Uh, hello, Mr. Iron, um, is there anything else we could call you? Nope. Okay, come on now. Here we go. I don't think Will is ready to read just yet, but I have read from this book so many times he practically has it memorized. I'm sure he'll have no problem. Jack and you yes. up the... Uh... Okay, Will, it's your name. With an H. Helium! No. <laughs> Barbara, I'm sorry. I gave my mouth this morning. My kids are amazing. Uh, I'll even take red. Oh, yeah. Sure. Thank you. Oh, well, if it isn't Abbott's brightest little reader, are you excited to show the school your skills? You know? Here you go. Mm -hmm. Is he okay? Oh, he's fine. <laughs> this child has just gained entry into the magical world of books, so please, Janine, allow him time to celebrate. Okay. Yeah. Good morning, kids. Good morning to you all as well. Something here has been fine. I haven't even gotten past teaching the kids my name, let alone that confusing reading program. Hoping once they learn those things, then we can just start watching movies. <laughs> 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 
Hey, I had a history teacher right there. That's all we did. Hey, I'm you don't want to do shit. Go well. Where you doing with this new reading program? Well, it's, I'm not gonna lie, it's got me even more confused than I already was teaching it. I cannot get past a single lesson without an error message. It's really annoying. Why don't we get together mm -hmm. after school and we can figure it out? Um, I would love that. Are you kidding me? <laughs> oh my god, shoot, my boyfriend is picking me up after school today. Oh. You know what? You can come hang with us. I mean, we're just going no. to Ikea. You can help us pick out a bed. Oh, okay. Are you yeah, slow? Um, Oh, yeah, yeah, um, I accept some money. Right? This uh, girl. She's a woman. I mean, like, it's a car full of women. What? I love it. Oh. Okay, well, see you later. I'll see you around school. Yeah, yeah. All right, you too. Hey, enjoy the bed. Oh, we will. Ha <laughs> uh, Just kidding, but see you later. Uh-huh. Bye. So, hundreds of us come piling off this bus, right? And the punk firefighters... They didn't even show their pretty little faces, you know? And the pigs, they were mad because we were throwing rocks. It's like, hey, just relax. They're just freaking rocks, you know? <laughs> so anyway, we tell that the last great lady. Why did you bring it here? Uh, didn't we agree to this? I thought you were bringing a police captain. So we talk about how the union worked together in peace? That's not the real story. This is the truth. He's given him an eyewitness account of history. Eyewitness? I think the term is accomplice. This is the problem I have with people like you. You want to romanticize the city, but you won't acknowledge the truth. Like you want to run up the rocky steps, but you can't take a punch in the face. You can't take a punch in the face? What, what, what are you saying? I'm some kind of like hipster poser? But I care. Hey, hey, I am here teaching. Every day. No, I'm saying you can't teach the kids right if you don't respect where they're from. It's about respect. Me and the rest of the class are going on strike until there are no more pop quizzes. <laughs> Lights. Yeah, it's going to be failing. We are here to celebrate Barbara's Genius Kindergartners. It's a tremendous opportunity for the school. Before we begin... I would like to detail and she could have been just told the truth and stopped all of that. Right? Let's go down and broke his crown and Jill came tumbling after. Perfect. Now, when we get up on stage, you're going to do it just like that, okay? No. And no dancing. But that's what I do, Miss Howard. Hey, Mrs. Howard. Hey. After the assembly, do you think you can come help me with the program? My kids are struggling, and I know I ask you for help all the time, but what can I say? You're the best. <laughs> Janine. Sometimes I wonder if I put you on too high a pedestal, but then I think it's not high enough. I say, Janine, she's just a person like you. You know, I'm sorry. I'm rambling. You make... I'm sorry. They need to say Janine to the You make me want to be a better teacher. <laughs> okay. I'm starting to forget the word. Oh. Gotta go. <laughs> I've done more for this school in one year than he did for the whole movie. Okay, so I, I guess it's time to go. That kid's a reading fool. Good afternoon, Abbott. My student, William, will be reading Jack and Jill. Oh, <laughs> change of plans. My copy of Michelle Obama's book just came in. And since William reads at a fourth grade level, that should be a problem. Uh, no, I really think that Will would prefer to read. So nobody want to hear about pails and water and whatnot. We want to hear what Michelle O got to say. Oh, there's a session in there about her BQ with my man Barry Hussein. That book ain't in no fourth grade level. Okay. Here you go. <laughs> Where you go. Okay, that's enough. <laughs> Everybody, um, my student Will is a wonderful student and dancer, but he cannot read this book okay, switch. just yet. The truth is, I was actually able to log into the program, but um, I was just pushing buttons. I did not need to say that they could read at a fourth grade level. I know how to teach these kids how to read. I just can't use that program. So I lied. I can't believe Barbara lied to me. Girl, shut up. Normally, I encourage mm -hmm. kidding, but girl, you got to let me know. <laughs> Barbara, <laughs> what a thought. Hey, Barbara. 
another great Abbott Elementary assembly. Um, why wouldn't you let me help you? I was handling it the best way I could. By lying instead of letting me help you? That is not what this is about. Then what is it about? Because I don't get it. I'm good at this job. And I know how to do it well. But admitting that I couldn't figure this program out, it was like I was saying, I am getting too old. And you don't know what that feels like. All these new people and this new tech just made me feel like I was being pushed out to sea. Well, if you're being pushed out, then I'm being pushed out too, because it's hard for me. It's hard for all of us, even the kids, and they come up the room selling NFTs. See? I don't even know what that is. So I guess I'm just an old face. Old head. And that too. I don't know what NFT means either. This what? What if we figured out this stuff together? I like that. <clears throat> Are we having a moment right now? Are those jelly beans on your belt? I wanted to teach Barbara something so bad that I never considered what she might be going through. But we did have a little bonding moment back there. I ruined it, but it happened. You got that, right? Hey, I brought you some lasagna as a peace offering. You know, I don't just eat Italian. Or am I a stereotype to you? Oh, my God. No, of course not. I'll, I'll throw it out. Hey, hey, what am I, an idiot? Give it to me. Um, Melissa, I, I made some dumb assumptions about you, about South Philly. I was condescending. Basically, I was a jerk. I wish my ex-husband could ever admit that much. Well, I'm really sorry. Listen. You're trying to sanitize this place, and it's history. It doesn't need it. This is who we are. The good, the bad, and the ugly. Tire iron, of course, representing the ugly. Well, I wouldn't say that to his face. Hey, I know you mean well, hon. You want the best for your kids. Just next time, have a more open mind, that's all. I will. And, and thank you. My students got a lot out of what Vinny had to say. Oh, good. They collectively bargained, and they all have pensions now. <laughs> Solid. <laughs> <laughs> it can be daunting when a new technology is introduced and it's changing the way you do things, but this is the future. I mastered it. I got it. I got it. Young Idris. Turns out the software we've been using was invented by the Pennsylvania penal system to collect data for prisons. Prisons? Something about the correlation between lower reading levels and the amount of prison beds they're supposed to do? Oh my god. Apparently it's illegal. I am just as disgusted as you all are. Disgraceful. You're gonna sell those, aren't you? And what would you rather I do, Melissa? That's a shame. I really like that feature where I can teach a whole class on just one letter. You know what? I think I might have something we can use instead. Pretty simple. Mm -hmm. A fun thing. At 54. I'm still in progress, and I hope I always will be. Can he just, oh my God, you, you just read it. You just read it. Baby genius. Yes. Wow. Yeah. Oh my God. Yes. 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 Failure is a failure long before it becomes an actual result. Hmm. I know that's right. Can I have a break? No, keep breathing. It's just getting good. Mm, mm, mm. Absolutely not. Let's go. Come on, Barbara. You owe me an audible membership. Delicious. <laughs> I need help face. It is an I have it under control face. An arm and leg and the
told me not to elongate my vowels before we're in school. Good morning, Janine. Good morning. So, Miss Howard? Yes. Miss Howard, it is you. Yo, I would have thought you would have retired by now. I just dropped off my nephew, and you, you was always my favorite teacher. And I never got a chance to thank you for everything you did for me back in kindergarten. Oh, sweetheart, you don't have to thank me for that. You did this. Of course I need to thank you. Before I was in your class, everyone would have been like, oh, he's going to be the one that needs to be secured. But thanks to you, I'm out here securing. <laughs> well, I am very proud of you. By the way, how is your mother? Well, that's complicated, but... It's going to mean so much to my mom that Miss Howard asked after her. Well, sweetheart, it was so good to see you and have a great rest of your day. You too, Miss Howard. All right. You too. Bye. <laughs> see, Mrs. Howard, that is why we do this. Mold those young minds. Just create new lives. Make those connections. Sweetheart, I have no idea who that young man was. <laughs> 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 Classic Shimenti good mood day. You know it. I got my favorite parking spot. My macchiato is on point, and my neighbor finally found her cat, so no more hearing her cry through the walls. Jacob, are you ready? I am not just ready, I am set and go. Yes. Ready for what? What's going on? We have this little tradition where we read our grades for teachers' reviews out loud when a new one comes in. Mine are always just incredibly flattering. Is it Yelp for teachers? Yeah. Do you want me to help you set up a page? Because as it says here, I am excellent at explaining complicated ideas. Oh, oh thanks. That just sounds bad. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh dang. You want a new one? Oh, dang, oh, dang. What's wrong? Uh, it's, it's nothing. I just got a C-minus review, which will bring down my overall average and tarnish my reputation forever. And it's like, it's no big deal, though. Well, if traditions were always easy, everyone would have them. Everyone does. Nice, but lacks experience compared to the other second grade teacher at Abbott. Hey, that's me, the other second grade teacher at Abbott. <laughs> this isn't that bad. One of my reviews was so rude, the superintendent had to come check on me at home. Yeah, well, that's you, though. I don't get bad reviews. You just did. <laughs> Girl, please, stop. You don't make me spit my coffee out. Look, ignore this. Reviews on the Board of Design website do not determine what kind of teacher you are. Yeah, no, I know. I just can't believe the entire world can read that I'm a bad teacher. Hey, kid, listen, there's nothing wrong with having some room for improvement. Just take it from me. The other better, more experienced teacher at Abbott. <laughs> <laughs> Melissa plays a lot. She jokes. You know, she's good at it. Just another thing she's better at than me. According to the reviews, she's a regular Lucia Ball. <laughs> oh, hey, mate, she's only looking for the mail boxes. Oh, I'll show you. No, you can just tell me. No, no, it's good. It's fine. We can work together. Oh, speaking of mail, can we talk USPS? Have you heard of informed delivery? What about curly head Arthur from PBS with a voice? <laughs> and good morning to you, Raheem. You want them talking like that? Correct me if I'm wrong, but the boys and I are bonding in the tradition of playing the dozen. It's also called roasting, also called uh, blazing, frying, hmm, kind of cooking terminology. Look, man, I'm from Baltimore. Switch? Okay, all I know is when somebody roasts you, you gotta roast them back. I think you just to roast us, if they didn't, we wouldn't have respected them. You're just getting clowned. Of course I'm being clowned, okay? I don't know how to roast. It's not that hard. You just gotta have to take what you can give you, like, the old mothball sweater vest looking boy. Hmm. Simple and cutting. Okay, thank you. I thought you had to bring way more to the table. In the Dean Martin celebrity roast? Where's the mailboxes? Oh. Yeah. All right, attendance time. So raise your hand if you're not here. <laughs> All right, so Nicole's not here. Janine, come to my office. <laughs> All right, everybody, uh, settle down. Okay, everyone who's not here, please be good. All right, I'll be right back. Mm-hmm, she'll be right back. Can she see? Can you just switch? Hey, girl. Hey, Ava. You know I can't just leave my classroom unattended like this, right? It's five minutes. It's not like something could go wrong in five minutes. A lot can go wrong, actually. 
if you say so. Anyway, one of Melissa's students will be transferring to your class. Really? Why? Girl, I don't know. Things happen all day. Maybe she wants to be close to the bathroom. Maybe she likes you more. Maybe she got some kind of meat meal drink feud going on with one of her classmates. I don't know. Maybe she likes me better. If you really want to know, you should read her file. I have a range by sexiest dad. Her name is Courtney Perry. Not my, my dad. dad. Uh -huh. <laughs> no, that's okay. I don't really like to read the file. I like to get to know the child so I don't have any preconceived notions. That's an adorable spin on choosing to be unprepared. <laughs> I wonder how Melissa's doing. <laughs> Hope she's not taking this too hard. Find out right now. <laughs> Melissa, Janine is on her way. You do know that that's coming out of all the speakers, not just a specific classroom, right? I said they're on your way. Ron Beasley and Kim with pickup artists. This man looks like he dreamed of God. I'm gonna take the thumbs. Well, look at you, old blue shirt, tan pants wearing guy. With your bright white shoes and the laces all tied up into a little bow? Yeah, <laughs> no way those are accidentally falling off. Was it last on our weekend? That really hurt my feelings. I am, I am, I am so sorry. You should be. With that twilight thing now! <laughs> Got it! <laughs> That's what we're all wearing. It's a uniform. You ain't even observing, dog. <laughs> You say the first year of teaching is the hardest. <laughs> what about the second year? Minus one dollar. Oh, hey, uh, sorry, I didn't talk to Ava, so this is awkward. Why would it be awkward? Oh, just the whole your student preferring me thing? Oh, yeah, no, not awkward at all. Just there's a couple things that you should know about court. I know you're more your experienced than I am. Yeah. But this is kids for kind of proves. I've got something special in my classroom that's got the kids a dog in. Courtney, come over here, hon. It's time for you to go with your very confident new teacher, Miss Teagues. Why don't you go get your stuff? <laughs> I'm like the Allen Iverson of teachers, and you know, like that guy I stepped over once. You mean three time NBA champion Toronto? Yes, time? you know basketball, but my point is. Maybe I'm not a bad teacher. Maybe you are. Okay. Courtney, I want you to go and be your wonderful self with Miss oh, Teague. Okay? I have Courtney. no doubt that you're going to have a great, great time in her class. Right. Should have read that damn file. Have fun. All right. <laughs> all right. Oh, look at you all being so well behaved, setting a great example for our new student. Hi, I'm Janine. Hi, Uh, no, she's not Janine. Her name is... My name is Janine Teagues. Hi, Janine. <laughs> not Janine. Yes, it is. Courtney? One of the toughest students I've ever had. She's going to eat Janine alive. Okay, everyone, please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance, except for Andrew, who is taking a principal stand against nationalism. Yes.
probably get transferred out of my class because I can handle it. She's going to pay us to transfer because I don't put on all the little tricks. So I said, I'm not getting you around. I'm going to drop you off at the eight foot five months. Oh, man. I'm going to get you around. So I interrupt. You mentioned earlier that there was a thought to report me here. Yes. Thinking in a second. That we like to share with you. I have an issue with her. What are you saying? She needs a look at it. With an I need help face. Okay, this is not an I need help face. It is an I have it under control face. And all of you and that is true, because I cannot help you. You see, Ava and I have placed a modest wager on your success with the whole situation. And I will not accept the outcome. Wait, hold on. You bet on me? Well, yeah. <laughs> you got to use more performance of the people for entertainment. Mm-hmm. Okay, that's it. You know what? I'm taking everybody. <laughs> <laughs> you do know that that is not how things work, right? Ava, I'm going to see that thing. Okay. You don't have to say it all the time. Ain't nobody stopping you from seeing the problem. I offered it to you yesterday. She's going off to say, look. Alternative school I don't know where you thought that was coming from. Right? Little cycle path. Social path. No, at the same time, you don't want to stop running because if it isn't funny, you're going to get bit. But I tried most of my students back and it didn't work. It got way worse. And I'm going to specifically call me Huff Paul Newton Gay Pete Booty's Hutch, which is competitive and insulting. Because if I read a word, I think it's a good idea. You made some big errors for me. I mean, you can't really beat them that they're all gay. It's like them challenging you to. They can't really challenge something to DMD. It's more like a cooperative game that's all about the shared experience rather than winning. <gasps> Thank you, you old good friendship having man. Is everything okay? Oh, you tell me. You got a little sleepy bed over there. Do you want to know what I do? Want to kick off to sleep in my house? Sure. Nothing. Because it doesn't 
part-time bit early. Okay? I know you didn't pull me out of class just so you could brag. Of course not.
It's like the first good news. I'm not going to 
Yeah. Mm -hmm. Concentrate with water? I didn't. Can't really feel my toes. So you stayed up all night preparing this? I did. Devin said they didn't have time to do it, so I did. Jason. I am really impressed. Ooh, you did a real go, go man, go. <laughs> yes. What the hell is that? Oh. There's more in my car. Melissa, I think you're going to love what the kids and I have created. There better be paper plate bunnies. Oh, there are definitely paper plate bunnies. There are paper plate bunnies, right? There are paper plate bunnies. And more than that, there's passion. Mm -hmm. Let the experience begin. Did 
I missed a step of her feet. Melissa, I had no idea she was going to do that. I am so, no, don't you dare apologize. I'm proud of you. You did the right thing taking that wannabe Zoe Kravitz out of here. You kiss a whore out? Imagine me. What's her handle? I have no idea why you were going to do that again with. Yeah, I mean, the Bob college wouldn't have been fun for me. She made me feel like I fit in somewhere, being myself. She made being an outcast cool. Being a real person is more important than being cool. And you're a real person. Who will be 75 copies of Peter Rabbit before next year? Okay, if you guys are finished with this very special episode, Janine, can you show me some